one trig identity that you mapped at core 2 was sine squared x plus cos squared x is equal to 1. Now, what we're going to do is build two new trigonome trigonometric identities that involve cosec, sec, and cot. Okay? And these are just as useful. So the method is if I take sine squared plus cos squared equals 1 and divide each of the terms by sine squared, for example. So let's divide through by sine squared. So we're going to get sine squared x over sine squared x plus cos squared x over sine squared x is equal to 1 over sine squared x. Now, sine squared over sine squared is just 1. Cos squared over sine squared is cot squared. And 1 over sine squared is cosec squared. So this is one of the new trig identities, okay, which is going to become very useful. Now, if I use a similar approach, but this time divide through by cos squared, then I'm going to get sine squared over cos squared plus cos squared over cos squared is equal to 1 over cos squared. So sine squared over cos squared, well, that's tan squared. Cos squared over cos squared is 1. And 1 over cos squared is sec squared. And this is the second of the two new trig identities. So we have 1, 2, and 3 here. These two new ones you either need to memorise or you need to confidently be able to go from sine squared plus cos squared equals 1 to either of these, okay, using the process that I've just shown you, okay? Now, to be honest, I never remember these. I have never remembered them, okay? I've never, never memorised them. However, every single time I need them, I very quickly work out from sine squared plus cos squared equals 1 how to get these. Okay, so I quickly work it out on paper before I need to use them. So there's no harm in that whatsoever. But you need to practice it and to confidently go through those steps.